Rich the Kid doesn't even let his pug walk. He has done some pretty prolific things, such as having a lot of success with Little Pump, Jay Critch, Famous Dex, YBN Almighty J, and now the 83 Babies. He's made major moves and in my opinion, has bossed up, for show, for show. Remember when Rich was clowning Little Uzi for not signing to Rich Forever and signing to uh, Generation Now? Now, all those folks are on his label, but Rich the Kid's own solo catalog is signed to Interscope, that's the twist. Rich used to be on QC and got off of QC and somehow used Interscope to finesse a way out. Now Rich the Kid is not as super white hot as he used to be, he's still popping for show, but now he's complaining about Interscope. On Twitter he said, how am I signed to Interscope, but the head of Urban is calling the police on me and holding my music. Then he also said Interscope thinks that I won't expose him for all the fraud shit, quote unquote. He then posted a letter sent to him from Universal Music Group saying that Rich tweeted out the address and number for one of the heads of Urban, Joey Manda, and threatened people at the office. And because of that, they threatened to take legal action. So Rich the Kid has been leaking numbers and threatening to run up on people. He's pushing his line for show for show. Now, I don't know all the details because I didn't see his contract and neither did you guys, but he might be justified. Just know I'm just reporting the news. Now, he still has his very own label, but to be clear, he seems to lack control of his own catalog. Welcome to the music business. This is Sketchy Scammer checking in and checking out with AUC Live. Out.